I don't totally buy the moral hazard argument here in the same way that I think it carried some significance and some some validity in 2008. You know, retail depositors cannot, I don't think, and should not be expected to be bank risk managers. Uh, you know, the Silicon Valley Bank's depositors, and your, your prior guest was on talking about some of these corporates that were asleep at the switch in terms of cash management. But generally speaking, the product that we're talking about, which is savings and checking accounts, they should be presumed to be liquid and safe. And if you're going to push that job onto retail depositors, then there's not like a whole lot of point in having a bank. That's why banks exist, to take these incredibly safe liquid uh, liabilities and turn them into longer term stuff. Silicon Valley Bank was particularly bad at that, as it turns out. But I don't think the lesson should be that everyone's got to be checking their uh, their bank uh, quarterly uh, results every uh, every three months. Doesn't make any sense to me. 